Welcome to 2022. First episode of Cybersecurity Amplified and Intensified. My name is Eric Taylor with Barricade Cyber. Unfortunately, this will be a solo episode. We will not have the co-host of the show today with Shiva Maharaj on. Um, it's kind of, this one's a little bit of a different scenario, an episode. So I wanted to start this year really by putting out proof of concepts. So everybody starts hearing about zero days and, you know, different ways of bypassing and circumventing AVs and other protection protocols. So as these things are being talked about and discussed, I want to put them together and show, is it really something that can be done? How easy can somebody potentially do this inside of your network? So that way you are more prepared and what to start potentially looking for in your logs and how to make your life a little bit more secure in your business and your day-to-day -day operations. Because at the end of the day, time is money and we're all here trying to save as much as we can. But that anyway, let's get to this proof of concept. So um, on Twitter, Mr. Docs D0X put out that there was a way to bypass Microsoft's Defender AV static detection. Now, the claim here is that you can name a malicious file as dumpstock.log and Defender doesn't scan it. In his example here, he sets up a Mimikatz server, which is what we did in our proof of concept. And he downloads it. As you can see here, Mimi.exe, tanked, can't load it. You know, there's nothing you can do, and it's it's dead in the water. By renaming it as dumpstack.log, of course, you're able to download it, you execute it, and Mimikatz works. So let's see if this is really the way that it is. So I've already got my Kali Linux box stood up. We've got Mimi Cats over here running and it is hosting up a web server as you can see here. So this is showing the sys file, the DLL files and the exe of Mimi Cats.exe. Um, on our Windows box, we're just going to simply open up a command prompt and a non administrator just to show that we can be able to use commands like curl and things like that to actually download files that could be potentially uh, uh, could be potentially loaded and be able to start exfiltrating data. Now, to talk about this, Mimi Cats that we're getting ready to put on or actually download is a program that is used by a lot of hackers. Mimi Cats was created by a gentleman by the name of Benjamin Pion. I'm probably butchering the last name, but our uh, uh, Delphi, sorry, Benjamin Delphi, D-E-L-P-Y, created Mimi Cats. And it was originally created to test AV solutions and things of that nature for his own detections. Well, it got open sourced and a lot of people got a hold of this. And this is one of the de facto applications that ransomware and other threat actors you know, even there was a show, if you remember, or there was a reports of the solar winds breach that used a little bit of the Mimi cats. Um, there's, I think, no, Kaseya did not use it. There was uh, some other PCI data that was released not so long ago that showed using lateral movement inside of your network using the Mimi cat software. So, Let's see if this is actually being detected by my, uh, Windows Defender. So at first, we're just going to sit here and do a curl, which is uh, installed on every Windows machine. And this is just a download protocol to actually get files from a remote host that we have. And in, again, in this particular situation, we have this on our uh, we have this on our Kali Linux box. So we're going to go ahead and type in the mimicats.exe variable with O and we'll just do mimicats.exe. Now it should 
boom, and token supplied is invalid. Interesting. Okay. That's see what I did wrong. Sorry about that. So I actually did uh, SSL version, and this simple HTTP server does not have that. So my apologies on that. So boom, it downloaded. All right. Windows Defender automatically picked it up. Now, if I try to run mimikatz.exe, boom, it can't find it, right? So we'll just try it this way. System can't find it. That's because Windows Defender is pretty much blocking it. So if we take that and we go with the, what's being said is dump stack.log. And then we just execute dump stack.log. We have Mimi Cats loaded. That is very, very bad, ladies and gentlemen. So with this, in an unelevated session, we are able to download Mimi Cats and execute it. You did see where it was actually showing up. The Mimi Cats was actually showing up in the threat detection, which is not showing up here now, but it actually brought it over. It actually alerts right here that ooh, we had a threat found, but it's still allowing Mimi Cats to be executed. So this is this is a very very bad situation. We have tested it with you know our own solutions. You know I'm not trying to shoot our own CrowdStrike horns or anything like that, but you know we are definitely being able to detect it. And this is what you need to take away from this: that while Defender is De uh, detecting it, but allowing it to still be executed from a normal user, your internal team or your outsourced team needs to be checking the event logs for these things. If they are not, you have a serious problem. So anyway, hope this first episode, while short, was informative that these say, as of right now, this thing is still able to be you know, executed and launched in a real world scenario. This is not a farce. This is not something that is um, able to just be easily exploited. So, or is as something to be easily exploited and it's not being prevented as of right now. But um, until next time, take care. Out there on the internet, if you have made it this far, thank you so much for tuning in for yet another episode of Amplified and Intensified.com. You know what? A recent change to the platform Shiva has put together a new website, Amplified and Intensified.com. If you have heard anything that you have liked about this podcast and you want to engage Shiva or myself or be able to help sponsor by donating us some, some coffee, all the links of our calendars, buying us coffee, past episodes of both. The podcast and the YouTube version are all now on Amplified and Intensified.com. Go there for all of your needs. Thank you so much. And until next time, take care.